Welcome to my first vegetable garden. Today I want to talk about bone meal. What is it? How do you use it? Where does it come from? It's an organic fertilizer, but I also don't want you to feel like you have to use only organic fertilizers. That's just not true. Processed fertilizers or fertilizers that are, you know, um, processed by human beings in some way aren't worse for your plants. Plants can't tell the difference between organic fertilizers or processed fertilizers. And I'll explain that in other videos and a little bit as I go along. So this is an organic product. Bone meal is a mixture of finely and coarsely ground animal bones and slaughterhouse waste products. So this is basically bones that are pulverized down and sold as fertilizer. It's a slow release fertilizer. It's insoluble in water and it must be broken down by soil life. A slow release fertilizer means that this is slowly over a three or four month period going to release the phosphorus into the soil in, and it will be available to your plant. So what does that mean? Insoluble means this right here is in a form, a chemical form, and that's why, you know, this is a chemical processed differently. This is in a form right now that's insoluble, that won't mix with water, therefore your plant can't absorb it through the roots. So the soil life comes in, breaks this down into another form of soluble fertilizer or phosphorus where it will mix with water, therefore the roots can bring it in and then the plant can use it. So this will be slowly turned into soluble fertilizer that can be used by your plant. And the chemical process is really taken care of by soil life. When you buy processed fertilizers, they are processed by human beings and put into a form that the plant can use right away. So you have to be putting this into soil that has soil life or this fertilizer is just going to sit there. And sometimes if you put this into container soil where you make your own container mix, there's no soil life in there. So this isn't going to do a whole lot of good right away. Um, this product has been used as, well it is used as a fertilizer and it's used as a dietary supplement for feed animals right now and in the past in the 70s and the 80s it was used as a source of calcium for people but there were some problems that they've identified you know heavy metals being in this I don't think it's a problem nowadays but when people were taking it for a calcium supplement they were concerned about lead and heavy metals also in the 70s and 80s it was linked to uh, bovine spongiform encephalopathy which is mad cow disease and this is really from cattle and sheep bones you don't need to worry about that today. So if you hear people scaring you saying, hey, this has got diseases and stuff, in the past maybe it had links. But right now, most of the bone meal you buy today is porcine, that's how you say it, bone meal or slaughterhouse pigs. And these are steamed at high temperatures and then pulverized down into this form that you see. So that steaming really kills out, I can't say 100%, but I think that it does, any kind of disease that you could get from touching it or anything like that. Now the fertilizer range for bone meal is 1,13,0, 1 1% nitrogen, 13% phosphorus, no potassium, up to 4% nitrogen, 12% phosphorus, 0% potassium, and it has 5 to 7% of calcium in there. Calcium is great for tomato plants to stop blossom end rot. So phosphorus is really important for root development of your plant, so this is, you know, why phosphorus is one of the top three, you know, and P's and K's, one of the main fertilizers your plants need. So you're really buying this for the phosphorus. Sometimes you have a like 1% nitrogen value all the way up to a 4%. That's going to vary. Just read the, you know, the back of it. This again is three pounds of bone meal. It cost me eight dollars and some change after tax. And this is where I start to have issue with organic products because they have to call it organic. They have to get it certified. It does jack up the cost, but we're also you know, sort of being taken for a run by companies knowing that people want organic products so they're charging more, at least in my opinion. So for bone meal to work, your soil pH has to be below seven. If it goes up to seven, seven, one, seven, two, it'll still work, but slowly, um, it's more slowly broken down and the phosphorus is less available to your plant. So you really want a pH below seven and you have to have soil life. If you were going to apply this to your garden, it varies. Some places say it's 10 pounds per 100 square feet. And if you have a 10 foot by 10 foot garden right there, you're going to have to buy three bags of this. That's $24 to spread over your garden and you could get one application that will last three to four months. So it does kind of get expensive. Um, 
This product tells you to do one cup per 20 square foot, per 20 square feet, or one tablespoon per square foot. So that's going to vary and that's really up to you. This is a tablespoon. I would plant, you know, I would dig a planting hole for my tomato, my peppers, um, squash, whatever plant it is, and put two or three of these tablespoons right into the planting hole and just mix it in. And this will, whoop, this will slowly release over three to four months. You can use it in different ways, but the most important thing to take away is that bone meal is an organic product. It comes from slaughterhouse animals, usually pigs. It's steamed, it's pulverized down, and it's going to provide phosphorus to your plants over time. It's in an insoluble form, so it doesn't get to your plant right away. It has to be broken down by the soil life, and then the soil life will change from this form into a form that mixes with water, and once it mixes with water, the plant can take the phosphorus into its system. Hope you enjoyed the video, it gives you some idea of what organic bone meal is, and you can decide how you want to use it in your garden, and if you want to use it in your garden. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com, and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.